Dear colleagues, today we are opening our 37th World Ophthalmology Congress. Globally, at least 2.2 billion people have visual impairment, one billion people of whom could have been prevented or are yet to be treated. We will succeed in integrating comprehensive primary eye care into our collective goals. Over the coming days, we will share best practices and learn from leading creative thinkers in ophthalmology and vision science. Fresh content, renowned faculty, one new name. Welcome to WOC Virtual. Hi everyone, so glad to have you here. Here I am at the end of the first day of WOC Virtual and what a day it has been. We've had a fantastic program that has been assembled by the Scientific Program Committee. Plenty of good stuff, plenty of good trials. And the attendance has been just amazing. We've got thousands and thousands of you here from all corners of the world. And I can't quite believe how international we are. Over 150 countries. Wow. Now, whilst this may be the 37th WOC and the longest running subspecialty medical congress in the world, dating right back to 1857, it is also the very first virtual one. And I'm just so excited how the world is coming together out of friendship and learning, of course. With 182 member societies attending, it has to be the largest, most sophisticated virtual ophthalmology congress to date. Joining me in the show tonight is Professor of Ophthalmology and Vice Dean of Medical School at Tel Aviv University in Israel. It's Professor Anat Löwenstein. Anat also chaired the committee putting together the Medical Retina Program for this Congress. Welcome. Thank you, Donatello. Anat, no WOC in the real life world. Sad to miss it? Well, of course, it's a shame. It should be on everyone's bucket list of Congresses to attend. It is really the jewel in the crown of international Congresses on ophthalmology. However, I'm super excited about this WOC going virtual. In terms of amazing content, it seems that this Congress has it all. What has caught your eye today? Well, I think the most striking feature of the program is its incredible breadth of topics. And within each of these topics, the significant depth that is relevant to every practicing ophthalmologist all around the world. There seems to be a lot going on today with new approaches and developments happening within Retina. What were your main takeaways? I think it's clear that the field is taking major strides in the treatment that spend the ability both to diagnose retinal disease and the ability to better manage them. The major causes of world blindness in the Western world mainly are AMD in the older age and diabetic retinopathy in the younger age. These are very prominent because they are chronic diseases and our population is really aging significantly. However, there are many other diseases that affect the young, such as retinoblastoma, just to give an example, that continue to need our attention. And here we are making now major progress. In addition, there are significant advances in artificial intelligence and in machine learning that will surely come more into play in our daily work. I think it's very exciting. It's a very exciting time. In his address, the Director General of the WHO, Dr. Tedros, referred to the new World Report on Vision and how the COVID situation has changed, how eye care is being delivered. What do you see as being the biggest changes afoot? Well, to tell you the truth, in Tel Aviv, uh, the COVID-19 meant that uh, we are trying to decentralize patient care. We injected to patients in remote clinics. We even went to patients' homes to inject. Oh. There were a lot of differences, and we pushed towards telehealth significantly. 
I think that all together we are pushing for a very integrated people-centered eye care and we will rely even now that we go out of the epidemic more and more on telehealth, task sharing and distance learning. I think this WOC virtual is the very embodiment of that. I'm particularly pleased that the ICO has made the decision to make, to make the content available from this Congress for, for three months afterwards. This actually represents such a huge learning opportunity for every ophthalmologist, no matter where they may be in the world. I think this is unprecedented. Thank you, Anat, and enjoy the WOC virtual. Thank you very much, Donatello. Well, how good was that? And there's more to come tomorrow. We start and end with sessions from ophthalmology societies from India, China, Japan, America, Brazil, to name but just a few. In between, we've got some fantastic sessions on oculoplastics, cataracts, and glaucoma. And tomorrow, of course, is our subspecialty day for surgical retina, medical retina, refractive surgery, and pediatric ophthalmology. Thank you so much for joining me in today's review show. And a big thanks again to Professor Anat Löwenstein. Stay tuned because we're going to have some great stuff for you this week. And in tomorrow's show, I'm going to be joined by Professor Kenny Schall from Pittsburgh, who chaired the committee putting together the pediatric program for this Congress. See you then, and bye for now. <laughs>